Hey everybody, Keith Nelson at the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music. One of the things I really love about our YouTube channel is that we get so much interaction from trombone players all over the world. You know, input on what they're hearing from the videos, asking questions, making suggestions for videos. So today, I'm going to be following up on a suggestion we received from one of our viewers, specifically looking for a comparison of some of the different double trombone cases out on the market. So we know there's a lot of the, the established um, makers. We have Marcus Bowen. On. We've got the Cronkite bags. Uh, there's a few newer players to the game. The bags of Spain have recently done some stuff with double cases. Um, I'm hearing that Accord cases have been doing some work with doubles and some others as well. So what I want to do today is to compare contrast to two of the most popular double trombone options, specifically from Cronkite bags and from Marcus Bona. So we have here the Marcus Bona uh, double tenor case and the Cronkite double tenor case. And again, both of these are really designed specifically for a large bore tenor and small bore tenor. And so whenever I'm thinking about cases, case design and comparing and contrasting, you know, there are a number of different factors I'm thinking about. Um, those include um, overall protection, right? How protective is this, not only on the exterior, but the interior? How is it protecting the instrument from the outside? How is it protecting the instrument from moving on the inside? Uh, we're thinking about overall weight and size of the case. Um, depending on what we needed to do, what we're looking for, though, those are going to make a difference. Uh, portability, what does it have for strap options, uh, for you know different options for carrying the case? What does it have built into it for storage? How much other stuff can you carry along? Can you bring all of your essentials along with it? And then, of course, price as well. All of these are going to come into play here. So, um, we can see first off, kind of comparing overall size, you know, these are really pretty similar. Um, if anything, the Cronkite is just a little bit longer, um, but the Marcus Bona is a little bit taller. Um, overall width, as you can see, is extremely similar. So size-wise, they're not all that different, all things considered. Um, let's start off with the Marcus Bona. So of course, one of the big differences is the exterior material. So with the Cronkite, this is a soft gig bag. So it has, you know, soft protective padding here. Now, of course, they do offer the Cronkite in the leather as well, but even there, you're still looking at a soft Dura material versus the Marcus Bona, which is a fiberglass. So, in, you know, immediately it has a lot more protective shell uh, with it. Now we'll go ahead and open it up here so we can see in both cases, we're looking at zipper enclosures, of course. And so when we open up the Marcus Bona, so there's a couple advantages with this. First off, uh, we can see, you know, when we open it up, everything is nice and stable. You know, the lid stays up. It's easy to access uh, the instruments to an extent here. So we can see uh, the instruments. And by the way, in both of these cases, um, I did use very similar instruments. So we have either a King 3B or a Bach a 16LT. So very similar weight size for the small bore. Uh, the large bores are both Yamaha Zeno. So very, very similar in terms of overall size. Um, and so of course we know with the Marcus Bonus that they have a ton of protection options inside. They have all of this movable padding. Uh, we can see how the two bell sections fit, you know, side by side. Uh, with this. And so, of course, you know, if you're going to access the small bore tenor, it means you have to take the large bore tenor out, but, you know, not necessarily the end of the world. And we can see uh, where we're keeping the two slides there. Um, and again, these do a nice job. There's really very little movement at all possible with the slides. And then, of course, we have all of this movable padding, all of this here, these pads up here, all of these are adjustable to fit what you need to do. And uh, the case on the interior, of course, has you know, a couple of storage pockets here um, for a lot of your miscellaneous items, care materials, mouthpieces, all of that. In addition, it has this music pouch. So the music pouch is actually removable. So you can take this off, save yourself a little size or bring it along with you. So we do have a lot of storage built into this. Um, now we've got the Cronkite here. So with the Cronkite, again, this is a zipper enclosure as well. So now with this, accessibility is a little bit different, right? Um, we don't have you know, quite the easy access as we did with the, the Marcus Bona, but it's certainly not bad. Um, 
We've got a storage pouch here, which we'll talk about in a second. So we can see how the two bell sections fit in like so. Um, slides go in, in the middle. So this is one of the things that make the Cronkite design really nice is that we're still doing a really nice job of protecting the slides. The, the, probably, you know, the most important part, as we know. So we're keeping the slides on the interior with this design, giving them the most protection possible. Um, again, with this type of setup, it does have a wooden you know, a fiber covered, you know, um, padded wood board in between. So we're giving us a lot of protection, um, at least an inch padding all the way around with this. And so, of course, if we want to access, for example, the small board tenor like I have in there, then that means that we have to get the large board tenor, you know, out and pull out the slide compartment. Um, so the accessibility isn't maybe quite as user friendly as the Marcus Bona over here. Um, and then the other thing, of course, is storage. Um, with the Marcus Bona, they have, like we talked about, a ton of storage. Um, they, of course, send along a you know pouch here, so you do have some of that. But honestly, there's not a ton of room in here for this. Even if you were to buy you know extra pouches or make other you know arrangements to you know fit storage inside, there's only so much room inside the case. And now that's you know very intentional because with everything zipped up. Um, together, you know, the, the instruments are not moving inside the case at all. Um, you know, there's we don't have to worry about the bell shifting around, anything like that. But, of course, it's not as protected from the exterior. Um, it's, you know, if it, it does get banged against the wall, a sharp corner, if it, you know, you know, something impacts it, it's not going to have the same kind of protection as the fiberglass does on the, the Marcus Bona there. Of course, we want to take a look at overall portability here as well. So with both of these cases, they do have, you know, backpack straps with this. So the Cronkite backpack straps look like so here. Actually, one of the changes they've made that I kind of like is now they're putting this extra padding here instead of just the strap, which helps to support it on the shoulder a little bit. Uh, with the Marcus Bona, I don't have them on here, but they do have um, both backpack straps and a shoulder strap. So it gives you a little bit of portability there. Um, and so, of course, because this is the, the Marcus Bone is a hard case, there's some other nice features. We have the feet on the bottom here and on the bottom as well. So, of course, you can stand up supports like this um, with the Cronkite. Um, you know, there's a wood on both sides, um, top and bottom. There is a wood disc in there, which has helped give you support, but it's, you know, it doesn't have the built-in, you know, metal legs like the Marcus Bona does. Um, we are talking about weight. Um, so, I actually took both of these back with uh, the horns, everything inside, and put them on our scale in our warehouse. Um, the Cronkite weighed in just about 13 pounds. The Marcus Bona came in at 21 pounds, and by can tell you just carrying them to the warehouse and back I could feel a difference there so not surprising of course you know we're getting more exterior protection from the Marcus Bona you know from the fiberglass construction but it does add weight to it as well um, the overall construction of both of these honestly is fantastic um, that's one of the reasons why they're priced the way they are which is we're going to you know we'll get to that in just a second uh, both of them are built really well I will say um, the Marcus Bonas, I have seen because they're they're very detailed. Um, there's a lot of little features on them. Um, there are certain times you know little things go wrong. So I've seen, for example, uh, the piping here on the side some, can sometimes get torn, start to wear out over time. Um, we've seen sometimes you know the little leather features here occasionally, not the not the loops themselves, but I have seen little things with the the Marcus Bonas. Um, the Cronkites, of course, are renowned for their longevity, um, and I would you know certainly with their new. Um, you know, construction happening here in Minneapolis from the torpedo bag folks. Um, I don't, you know, frankly, I think they're as well built as they ever were. Um, I have one of the Cronkite double cases myself that I picked up six years ago. And besides the fabric being a little dirty, I mean, it looks like brand new. Um, so you're gonna, I think you're going to get a lot of longevity out of both of them, but there might be little differences. And then, of course, we have cost as well. Um, now, with this particular configuration with the Cordura in the Cronkite versus the... Uh, the Marcus Bona, we're looking at about, you know, 700 or I'm sorry, about 400, you know, $50 thereabouts for the Cronkite versus about 750 for the Marcus Bona. Now, um, the prices have gone up a little bit on the Cronkites and leather. So the Cronkites and leather are about 725 now. So once you get up to that point, if you want to have the leather, there's a little bit different, you know, <laughs> Not as much of a difference in the price between the two. But, of course, it has to be all about what you need the case to do with it. 
So again, between the Cronkite and the Marcus Bona, there's not really a right or wrong answer. It really depends on what you need to do. Um, we've had great experiences with both of them. We know that these are two of the most well-established, high-end case makers in the trombone world. So they're really safe bets on both accounts there. But hopefully you enjoyed this comparison. As always, if you have any thoughts, if you have either one of these cases and want to share your experience or if anything else you noticed on the video, please feel free to leave those comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, think about subscribing to our channel. And you can always check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, everybody.